Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you all my skincare routine. As you can see, my skin, I used to break out a lot on my forehead, um, by my jawline, and then gradually it just improved into dark spots until where I am now with, you know, semi-clear skin. I still have some dark spots and I do break out on my forehead every now and then. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you how I get from point A to point B. So first you see I'm here with my makeup on, but first and foremost, your girl has to take this wig off. Um, I don't really gel it down, but I do gel down my baby hairs. And if you know got to be glued, you know it's going to be stuck. But that feeling of taking your wig off is something else. Anyway, first I'm going to take this micellar water and I'm going to take my eyeshadow and eyeliner off. The, eye the eyeshadow just melts off, but this particular liner, um, I have to do a little bit of work for it because it wants to play games. But again, it only took me like less than 30 seconds to get that makeup off my eye and if i didn't have eyeliner on it would have took me like one second so once i have my eyeshadow off i'm gonna go in with some baby wipes by equate and i'm just gonna remove the rest of the makeup from my face so the foundation and the eyebrows and the eyeliner and stuff i'm just gonna remove all of those things because i mean before i start my actual washing my face i want to have as much of this stuff off my face because it just makes it a little bit more difficult so now I'm using black soap here with my Sonic clear elite so the first thing I do before I start is wash my actual hands with some hand soap and then I go ahead and I apply water to my face not like the Neutrogena commercial you see I'm getting water everywhere <laughs> so now I apply the black soap and this isn't your black black soap this is like from Africa black soap I mean I don't know I just don't like those actual literally black soaps I like the kind that's brown and just pliable like when you touch it it's squishy and all that kind of stuff I love that kind of soap but yeah I just go and I take a little bit in my hand and rub them together you can see it makes a really nice lather and I go in and I just start applying this to my face and you know just using my fingers in circular motions to get into the crevices and remove that dirt that is still on my face and the makeup that I did not get so then I like to go in with my Sunny Clear Elite. I put some black soap on that as well. And you can see it's more brown than black. And then I just do the same thing going in circular motions all over my face. Getting in there around all those areas. I try to get into my hairline too because um, I do use got to be glued there. And I don't want it to be stuck on because I do reply daily. So I want to make sure that I get all of that out also. And then I go ahead and rinse the brush off. I just like to clean some of the product off. Then I go in with the basically clean rinsed off brush and I go back and scrub my face some more just to make sure that, you know, I'm getting everything and get that extra exfoliating in there. Finally, here is me rinsing off the brush again, but I'm going in with some Dow antibacterial soap. I like to clean the brush with this just because um, it is antibacterial and I want to keep the bristles nice and clean. So I'll go ahead and clean the brush head. The brush heads are removable and you can like replace them or use other brush heads, but I really like this one. So I clean that and I go in with cool water and stuff. I rinse the whole brush off and then I'll go ahead and apply the cap on it and put it back on its stand. Now back to my face, I'm going to go in with warm water. I never use hot or too warm water on my face. It's always just warm, not super hot. And I'll go ahead and rinse off all this soap. And I'm also kind of using circular motions here as well. I'm making sure to get all the soap off. I also rinse my face with cool water. I never leave it warm. And then after I do that, I go in with a nice clean paper towel and I dry my face with that. I no longer use towels on my face. It's just you have to keep getting new ones or you don't want to use the same one over and over and over again. Paper towels are clean every single time and you just throw it in the trash can. So after I dry my face, I'm going with alcohol. If alcohol is too strong for you, then witch hazel is really good. I did use to use witch hazel. Um, after the scrubbing and spilling your face, this may burn, which I don't really mind too much, but yeah. It was burning me today depending on how long I do scrub my face for and it just gets off any extra little dirt or whatever I also go ahead and make sure that I carry anything that I do to my face onto my neck And then I go ahead and moisturize my face with my clean and clear moisturizer first I kind of pat it in and then I do the little circular motions just to be sure that it's all worked in there And that's pretty much what I do for my skin so I like to use um, vitamins A and D ointment on my lips and on my nails. That's kind of weird, but I bought this for my piercing, but I've been using it to moisturize my lips and stuff. And I really like putting it on my cuticles. 
I have really dry hands and this helps keeps my nails from getting brittle because dry hands cause my nails to be really brittle. But these really help. Okay, so if I happen to have any pimples, I take some tea tree oil on a cotton swab and I apply it directly to um, that area. Just a little droplet. Um, tea tree oil doesn't affect my skin negatively. It may possibly cause a reaction in you, so just make sure that you test that before trying to apply this on yourself. But that's all that I do for my skin along with drinking water and trying to eat healthier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next one. Bye!